Hello Indie Reformed, this is the video for week one, day four. So we're looking at the church still. We've seen the church in general, what is the church? We've seen the local church, what is a church? And we've seen the creeds and confessions that we hold to as a Reformed church. So this video is on the ordained offices that Christ has appointed for his bride, the church. In Belgian Confession of Faith, Article 30 summarizes everything this way. We believe that this true church ought to be governed according to the spiritual order that our Lord has taught us in his word. There should be ministers or pastors to preach the word of God and to administer the sacraments. There should also be elders and deacons along with the pastors to make up the council of the church. So this is getting at some of the things we read in places like Ephesians 4. And there Paul says, Grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives and gave gifts to men. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children, tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. So in Reformed churches, these offices of elder, minister, and deacon are filled by men who have met the qualifications given in Scripture, as we read in Timothy or Titus. They are Christ's gifts to his church, and they are to fulfill their duties as they have been given to them by Christ, so that everything can be done decently and in good order, as Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Of course, much more could be said about this, and it could be a series of videos on its own, but I will close, however, by reading from the Church Order of the United Reformed Churches of North America. This is basically outlining the duties of the ministers, elders, and deacons. So the duties belonging to the office of minister of the word consist of continuing in prayer and in the ministry of the word, administering the sacraments, catechizing the youth, and assisting the elders in the shepherding and discipline of the congregation. The duties belonging to the office of elder consist of continuing in prayer and ruling the church of Christ according to the principles taught in scripture in order that purity of doctrine and holiness of life may be practiced. They shall see to it that their fellow elders, the ministers, and the deacons faithfully discharge their offices. They are, maintained to, pay, they are to maintain the purity of the word and sacraments, assist in catechizing the youth, promote God-centered schooling, visit the members of the congregation according to their needs, engage in family visiting, exercise discipline in the congregation, actively promote the work of evangelism and missions, and ensure that everything is done decently and in good order. The duties belonging to the office of deacon consist of continuing in prayer and supervising the works of Christian mercy, acquainting themselves with congregational needs, exhorting members of the congregation to show mercy, gathering and managing the offerings of God's people in Christ's name, and distributing these offerings according to need, and encouraging and comforting with the word of God those who receive the gifts of Christ's mercy. So these are the three ordained officers in our churches, ministers, elders, and deacons.